Alright, so this is like a small video about the generator that we have. This is the, uh, the backup generator for electricity that we have in our housing society. And uh, this is uh, similar to what we have on ship, but of course it's like a smaller version of it. And uh, today we have the service guy who has come here and done some jobs, which are like routine maintenance. Uh, right, so then of course, what, what all things he has changed. So, there are these two filters, which are from here, and then there's like this, okay, I'll just tell uh, briefly. So there are like two filters here, two filters here, and two filters here. So what has to be done is like you hold it and then you uh, unscrew it anti-clockwise and screw it clockwise. It clearly says how to do this here. So when you're like screwing it in, all the way when it's screwed, uh, of course, like person to person the hand power would differ so when it's fully screwed then you screw by another three four of a turn uh, then uh, there's also this fine filter just before it goes to the engine so this is just like a uh, what does it say it's like this called water separator so this is because the diesel which is coming from there it can have some kind of contamination these are basically separating that uh, and then of course from there fuel goes in and then there's a return line which goes back to the tank that is our sump this cap should be always kept off because off as in should be tightly closed and not like just like halfway closed or something like this right so what he has done today is this he has changed these two when you open this the filters will be full of oil so there will be some like mess here which has to be cleaned up then he has changed these two the funda is some same you unscrew it and then you change it there's like a o-ring on top of it which i can show here so these are the o-rings which are uh, sort of sealing against it's like metal to metal so there's a o-ring in between which gets sandwiched and that is the one which is uh, sort of making the seal so in case you start it and then you see oil is like spraying out that means this o-ring has not been put properly or it's just like maybe the o-ring itself has got damaged because of some reason these are all original spare parts so nothing should go wrong but if it does then you know that maybe this is the problem then the other filters, as you can see, there are two O-rings there, one inside, one outside. So again, it's the same thing. So it's 20 liters of oil which has gone in. How that has been done is on the other side. So now I'm on the other side of the generator. So uh, there's like a drain connection here. I don't know if the light is okay. Okay. So there's a drain connection here and then it is connected to a manual hand pump and a hose. So this hose will go back into some kind of empty container which you can use. Like today he has put in 20 liters, so the 20 liter can from today can be used for the next time draining so <clears throat> as you can see in this the level of this is at this height you know and the the sump will have some more you know the oil is at a lower level or the drain is at a lower level so even when you open this uh, cock as in it's called <laughs> ball cock or something like that. so when you open this then the oil by gravity will flow out but then it's, it's not enough to drain out the whole thing because the outlet is here so when it you know like drain till this level for the remainder of it you'll have to use the hand pump and you keep doing it till there's no more oil coming out so that is how you drain the whole thing ideally when you put the new oil then you must also like flush the thing so you put in maybe two liters of new oil and flush out that also so all the dirt from the bottom gets also like separated okay so i'm on the other side now there's an air filter inside this it's like a normal wing nut you can just open it by hand but i'm not going to do that now so when you open this there should be like a drum kind of thing inside that is the air filter and this, this is the, the radiator and the fan. It has a coolant here. There's a level, minimum, maximum. And also there's like a filling cap is all over there. So in case you need to top it up, you have to like fill it there. And there must be some kind of arrangement to go from the top and do this. So the idea of that is that it cools the air. And of course, in the radiator, there are all these fins. I mean, if you see, if you see there are like this wavy fins. So then, the water is passing through in between those tubes and then the air passes through between the fins and in the process it gets cooled. Now, over a period of time, there will be dust accumulation in that and it will uh, sort of uh, obstruct the normal air passage. So what we can do for that is use like some kind of this uh, can with compressed air or something like that. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, we can use that and then spray it around and then we can clear up the passages. So that will help with uh, the cooling. This is like a line filter, which is sort of filtering. So it is different from these, 
because these were like replaced altogether. This is just something which has to be opened and there's some kind of like a paper insert inside. But of course, this is also like not done in every 250 hours. This may be done in 1000 hours or something like this, but this guy would know. Okay, yes, there's like an exhaust. So after the exhaust from the engine is going there in the silencer and then goes out through this, what is that, uh, like exhaust funnel or something. And then there's a non-return thing on top so that there's no water going in when there is uh, yeah, like rain water. Maintaining what we should do, just see that that thing is there in place, that non-return thing. If it has fallen off, got loose or broken off something, then that has to be fixed quickly or as soon as possible. So this was like a little bit about the but about the, the engine itself, normal routine maintenance. The other side of the engine is where the oil was filled up. These are like normal filters which have been changed. Other than that, nothing has been done. So this was a short video. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. In case you liked the video, please do subscribe. Also, if there's a comment or any feedback or a question that you have about the video, please do post below. Thank you.